sound analysis is used in so many fields, such as identification of music, and the identification of the type of animal based on the sounds that they produce. Sound is critical to what we're doing because physiological sounds are very important in medicine, but the traditional stethoscope hasn't changed for close to 200 years. The doctor is limited by the human ear and they cannot hear specific frequencies. This method is very inaccurate and causes a lot of misdiagnosis. Our mission is to use machine learning and TensorFlow to revolutionize the diagnosis and treatment of respiratory diseases in low resource areas such as Sub-Saharan Africa. The Tambua app is a powerful screening tool that helps doctors make decisions quickly. The core technology is trying to mimic the human auditory system. Once the patient walks in, the doctor collects the lung sounds with symptoms, risk factors and vitals of the patient and then the Tambua app combines all that information and gives the doctor a probability of the patient having a specific respiratory disease. Eric introduced TensorFlow to us because he felt that we can use TensorFlow to go through all the stages of development to deployment of our model. Our model uses spectrograms. We take sound data from the digital stethoscope and convert it into a visual problem that the computer can best identify. We have worked with a number of clinics and pathologists and we are able to collect data from 621 patients and then we use that data now to build our machine learning model. Once we had trained and evaluated our machine learning model, we deployed it on our Tambua app. TensorFlow Lite helps us to perform an inference on a mobile device without the need of a connection. So doctors can use the Tambua app offline without connecting to the cloud. There are 216 healthcare facilities that are using the Tambua app and the Tambua devices. These clinics are spread out and some are very rural clinics. It's really a nice project. I, I can elicit a clock call plus the vital sounds. Then when I add the clinical history and the other physical examination, there's no need for me to take this patient for an X-ray. Misdiagnosis, which is one of the problems leading to deaths in Kenya, is really creating a menace. Tambo is helping me. It shows me even the things that I would have missed in case I had the traditional way of doing it. Over 2.5 million people die each year because of pneumonia, asthma, COPD, and pulmonary tuberculosis. I believe that we can use machine learning in treatment and management of these respiratory diseases. Mm -hmm.